At the Ortigia Academy of Magic, Alto need to summon and shape a settlement with a acquainted otherwise be held lower back a grade. He had failed the summoning spell before, however he reveals in Vintage E book and plays the spell within, summoning a bear demon lady named Vermail. She kisses him to empty his mana and says she can be able to serve him out of gratitude for his summoning breaking her out of imprisonment. She tries to seduce him, however he refuses and makes her put on his sister's get dressed and shoes. When he gives her to the elegance as his acquainted, she conceals her horns and tail to biskip for human. Alto's youth pal Lilia is jealous and demanding situations Alto to a duel. If she wins, Vermail leaves Alto, and if Alto wins, he follows his orders. Lilia's acquainted, Sylphid, unleashes her effective wind characteristic attack, however Vermail without difficulty blocks it and makes use of her magic to shake Lilia into surrender. Alto orders Lilia to get together with Vermail. Later, Vermail tells Alto that Lilia is in love with him, however he would not agree with her. She says intercourse affords extra mana and attempts to seduce him, however he stops her with the aid of using announcing he can kiss. With a snap of her fingers, Vermail stabs a raging dragon into the horizon, stunning everyone. Alto scolds her for drawing her attention to herself. The dragon owner and brother Rex threaten them with Rex's familiar dinosaurs, but Vermail charges Alto's mana and is able to defeat them with crystal magic. Vermail agrees, saying that it is to become a magician. I was told that I would be class president. As they race, Marcus is knocked out by a man-eating plant, forcing Cheryl to take care of him. Lelia drinks a potion of invisibility. However, her clothes are unaffected and she is forced to throw them away. One of Cerberus' heads allowed him to find them, so Alto and Vermail knocked him out. Lilia gets the flowers, but her invisibility fades. She shyly drops the flower, which flies into Cheryl's hand. She earned that her place and others congratulate her. Vermail enjoys modern cuisine for the first time, then the Dragon Riders parade and everyone admires member Chris. After the sport, Cheryl encourages Lilia to confess her feelings to Alto, and Vermail makes a scene following Alto into the boys' locker room. Vermail then enters Alto's shower and tries to seduce him again. Chris defeats Rex and banishes him from the Dragon Riders for losing to Alto and because his familiars are dinosaurs, not dragons. Upon learning what happened, Alto angrily challenges Chris to a duel. She accepts and calls her Dragon. Vermail charges Alto's mana, but Chris's fire spell is powerful enough to shatter Alto's crystal as construct and deal damage if Vermail blocks it. Chris flies through the air on the back of a dragon, and she boasts that dragons are the ultimate beings, inferior to all other creatures, including dinosaurs. Determined to prove her wrong, Vermail has Alto recharge and he constructs a giant crystal structure. Alto and Vermail use the composition as a distraction to jump on Chris and put a crystal knife to her throat to win the duel. However, Professor Obsidian taught him not to take the duel lightly. Chris does his own chores and apologizes to Rex. Vermail tries to seduce Alto again, but he says he should only kiss his loved ones, and she says she loves him. In trouble, he tells Obsidian that there is a difference between humans and demons. Asks about romance. He replied that demons only want people for mana. Alto confronts Vermail, but she proves herself by kissing him without tiring him. She is rescued but she is in a coma and the student council discusses that Emma was the third student to be assaulted. The class is tasked with writing a report on the familiars. Alto reluctantly measures Vermail's body. After Lilia confides in Cheryl about her clothes, she jealously spies on her with a potion of invisibility. Alto unwittingly caresses Lilia's melons and puts her in her blissful state. In his report, Alto lists Vermail's preference as candy, but Vermail adds Alto. Meanwhile, a seemingly possessed Rex and his mutated dinosaur defeated Chris and her dragon. In a flashback, Rex summoned a dinosaur as an egg, and Chris, believing it to be a dragon's egg, helped him hatch, Rex's brother asks her for help. Rex continues beating Chris. He is able to resist her fire spell and his body begins to mutate. When his brother Alto and Vermel arrive, Rex says he wants revenge on Alto as well, but student council president Elena arrives and smashes Rex and his dinosaurs with his sword, destroying various growths. Chris watches over Rex at the clinic. As the exams approach, Vermail leaves and Lilia is desperate to study alone with Alto. Vermail meets Obsidian and says he knows he is attacking his students and urges him to stop, but he injects her with something that causes her pain and causes her to emit dark energy. Everyone senses this and Elena rushes to the crime scene, but is stopped by a monster Obsidian summon. As Alto rushes to the crime scene, Obsidian cheers while Vermel turns to the unruly monster. Elena battles an obsidian monster that regenerates with each attack. Obsidian wraps Vermel's enchanted chain around her neck and controls her. When Alto and Lilia arrive, Obsidian attacks the humans, 
rejoicing that they have infused them with demonic essence and turned them into demons, but now they have real demons. Obsidian attacks Obsidian, but Alto protects him and is impaled with her claws. Enraged, she attacks Obsidian again, but Alto blocks her again, telling her not to kill her before she falls. Vermail returns to normal and heals Alto. Obsidian is taken aback and declares that demons cannot be cured, injecting himself with his formula, turning into a terrifying demon, Vermail took him down in a single blow. He panics and tries to fly away, but Chris shoots him down and Vermail knocks him out. Obsidian is arrested while all of his victims are out of their coma. Later, Vermail sadly explains to Alto that she combined their life forces and healed him. So when one dies, so does the other. Vermail then turns cold towards Alto, telling her that her monster form was her true form and that she should leave, Alto says he doesn't care about her and kisses her, made her nervous. The girls lament the loss of Obsidian, and the boys complain that Vermail no longer comes to class. Lilia meets Vermail and says she doesn't mind being a demon because she's not evil, and she trusts Alto to take control of her if she loses control again. Returns to Alto's room, reconciles and kisses him. After slaughtering the inhabitants of the church, a warlock and a witch named Iolite and Heliodor discuss Obsidian's failure and say he's an idiot, but his research is interesting and they think it's worth it. Vermel puts on a school uniform that is a little too small and joins Alto in class, much to the boy's perverse delight. The student council suddenly restrains the two. Elena apologizes for not being able to help them fight Obsidian and says that Obsidian has escaped from prison. With little, they confess that Vermel is a demon and that their life force is connected. Student council member Jessica tries to destroy Vermail, but when Elena accepts and agrees that Vermail is not evil gets shocked. Elena then invites Alto to join the student council. Despite being suspicious of Elena's motives, Alto accepted her offer, making Lilia, Marcus, and Cheryl proud. Vermail later suspects that Elena is not human. The two attend the council meeting, but are met by Elena, Chris, and Jessica, who are strange. Jessica panics, but Elena and Chris blame themselves for not locking the door. Elena takes home some of the creatures she fought. They investigate it and find magic they've never seen before. Meanwhile, Iolite and Heliodor meet Koakamiya, the owner of the creature. Iolite angers her by revealing that he killed someone he was supposed to recruit, after which he and Heliodor leave to target Alto and Vermail. Alto dreams of a crying child Vermail in an abandoned city, and is told by a woman to choose between helping humanity and bring salvation, or helping Vermail and bring destruction. He wakes up nervous about his next exam, so Vermail kisses him to drain him and overload him. Candidates come from all over the country to take the exam. The professor shows them a crystal ball containing flames and says that mana must be poured into the flames to give them power. Some students try, but are unable to affect the flames and fail. Lelia realized it was because they were focusing their mana on crystals instead of flames. She easily makes the flame bigger. Cheryl and the students of another school also raise the flames, but Marcus can hardly influence them to match. Old is last. I realized that it would be easier to pour magic into the crystal if I approached it from behind, but Vermel urged me to show it off, so I poured magic into the most difficult part, making the flames bigger and breaking the crystal. He apologizes, but the professor says he passed. Alto and the others have a picnic before the exam and encourage each other. Vermail pulls Alt into the hallway and kisses him, almost late. Students from other schools go to the bathroom and complain that Alto is showing off, but Iolite sneaks in and murders him before stealing his test tickets. Meanwhile, Elena and Jessica practice fencing. After Elena wins, they take a shower and discuss Vermail with Alto. Jessica still can't believe he summoned a demon while Elena says they are clearly in love. Alto arrives at the exam room, but Vermail has to wait outside. Iolite enters and sits next to Alto, wishing him good luck. Vermail sits bored outside, remembering Alto's promise to protect her. Alto panics when Iolite falls asleep right after the test starts, but concentrates on taking him. After a while, Iolite wakes up, writes super fast, finishes the test in seconds, and taunts Alto for being slow. When the professor reprimands him for speaking, the guard reports finding the body of a murdered student and states that Iolite is not a student. Iolite says she took the test just for fun and summoned a stone golem to crush the professor's leg. Vermail and the professor of the first exam appear as the students are evacuated except for Alto. The guards drag the reluctant Lilia, Marcus, and Cheryl out of the building, but when they try to re-enter, the space warp sends them back. The golem withstands all attacks and grabs Vermail. Enraged, Alto explodes with force, smashing the golem, but Iolite summons more and impales him in the shoulder. He says he plans to destroy the world by Vermail transitions into monster form, but Iolite easily stuns her. 
She tries to kill Alto, but the woman from her dream appears, protected by the book she used to summon Vermeil. She says it's the memory of the novice magician who sealed Vermeil. Iolite attempts to attack, but she freezes time and sends Alto into Vermeil's memory, who lived 550 years before him, watching a child version of Vermeil play happily. The beginning magician explains that Vermeil was raised by nuns along with orphans Miel, Lynn, and Kate. They knew she was a demon, but she didn't care. One day, the townspeople learned that Vermeil was a demon and blamed her for her plague epidemic. They formed an angry mob and laid siege to the church. Miel urged her Vermeil to flee and she almost left town before hearing people say they were going to kill her family. She ran back but it was too late. Her family had been hanged. When the mob surrounded her, she lost her temper and took on her monster form for the first time, killing everyone and burning the city to the ground. She says that is the reason she was sealed. She transforms into adult Vermeil and cries out that her sins can never be undone, but he says he doesn't care and kisses her, he declares that he loves her. Iolite summons a giant golem and says Vermeil's sole purpose is to destroy the world, but they silently tell him to join forces and destroy the golem. She and Iolite escape through the portal as she says she can't sustain the space warp any longer. Vermeil identifies the first magician as Fatma. Fatma says that Vermeil is her best friend, asks Alto to take care of her, repairs the building and disappears. Later, Alto receives fencing and martial arts training from Jessica and Chris in order to become strong enough to protect Vermeil. Lacking strength and experience, he loses easily at spar, but wants to improve. In bed, Vermeil says she loves him too. At the student council meeting, Elena says they must work together to stop these attacks, and everyone agrees. When not, Lilia jealously suspects Alto is doing something to Vermeil. The two actually kissed in public, bathed in love, and decided to protect each other.